Here's a question. Is it harder now than ever to be a Christian? Is there more anti-Christian bias? It can feel that way sometimes. Every time you, you binge a new series, it seems like the bad guys are, are Bible thumpers. When we don't affirm values that don't align with the Bible, we're, we're called haters, no matter how respectfully we frame our dissent. Who knew advocating for the life of the unborn was the same as wanting to control what a woman does with her body? So yeah, it kind of feels like we're swimming against the stream, but are things really worse than they've ever been? Listen to how Psalm 12 starts. Help, Lord, for no one is faithful anymore. Those who are loyal have vanished from the human race. The good people have vanished? That sounds terrible. Here's how Psalm 12 ends. The wicked freely strut about when what is vile is honored by the human race. That sounds uncomfortably current. In his second letter, Peter remembered how Lot was tormented in his soul by the lawless things he heard and saw, tormented. And the first chapter of, of Paul's magnum opus, Romans, reads like a spiritual autopsy. The culture, was, the culture he was a part of was so rotten, he says, God just gave up. We read these haunting words three times. God gave them over. And the second century of the church's existence wasn't any easier than the first. There were heresies from within and opposition from without. Christians were accused of cannibalism, sexual immorality, and atheism. Atheism because we didn't believe in the pantheon of Roman gods. Tertullian was a leading Christian thinker in the last half of the second century. In an eloquent defense of the Christian faith called the Apologeticum, he wrote, if the Tiber River reaches the walls, if the Nile doesn't rise to the fields, if the sky doesn't move or the earth does, if there is famine, if there is plague, the cry is at once, the Christians to the lions. Oh my. So is it harder now than ever? Well, in some parts of the world, absolutely. In the West, not really. But look, embracing biblical values has never been mainstream. We shouldn't expect an easy time of it. After all, it wasn't a cakewalk for the author and perfecter of our faith. Not a sermon, just a thought.